Atlanta-based duet featuring Mr. Marvin Pryor and Mr. Nelson Rinder. You know, Marvin Pryor plays the trombone, you know, so he's got to be, he's got to be off glass. Anyway, they have taken the jazz world by storm, performing their unique sound of jazz, funk, and neo-soul and quaint venues all over the nation. Please, please, with a rousing round of applause, welcome to our show with Mr. Nelson Rinder and Marvin Pryor, PR Experience. Yes, sir. Y'all heard that? They love you. I, I yeah. see, I see. All those fans, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, where, you guys, uh, you guys. Uh, I, I know you were practicing early. Are you still out there practicing? Uh, just wrapping things up, man. I think we're all ready for this Friday and Saturday. Yes, sir. Well, listen, I'm, I appreciate you guys taking a moment, man, out your busy schedule to chat with us on the conversation. And, listen, if you guys got any questions out there for either one of these gentlemen, you want any information that we may not cover, Go ahead and give me a call at what is the number nine one seven nine three two one zero seven eight. Be sure to select the number one button. And by the way, my staff does have the chat room open now. We didn't have it open before, but go ahead and hang out with us in there. You can ask questions as well. Hey, man, for those who don't know, tell us a bit about you guys' journey that led to the culmination of the PR experience. Wow. That's a loaded question. Well, I'll tell you what, both of us um, have been playing our instruments for quite a while, and uh, we met up, and we, and we played at church a lot, and we said, you know what, I think let's, let's go ahead and try to start something and, and see where it goes as far as getting an actual group together, and that's how we started, man, but we, we met uh, quite a few years ago um, uh, in education together, we both were uh, former high school band directors together. And uh, from there, you know, we just evolved into what we have today. Well, you know, uh, since, since we're doing loaded questions, you know, I got a, you know, you know, you guys interviewed with me before, so I got tons of those. But here we, we gonna go <laughs> ahead and throw, we gonna go ahead and throw <laughs> another one out. Who we just put our men- We're okay. Huh? We just put our desk on, so we're okay. Okay. Well, who were some of your mentors? Uh, or, or, or people that you looked up to in the jazz world as you were coming up? Well, I, I would not limit it to just the jazz world, but, um, of, of course, at the top of the list, I can remember me as a little shorty, man. Um, Earth, Wind, and Fire, the, the elements, of course, they, they were definitely my all-time favorite. I was just in awe when I would hear those horn players facilitate the lines that they played on all of their projects. I guess in the jazz world, for me being a trombonist, J.J. Johnson is at the top of the list for me. There's Clyde Hampton, Curtis Fuller, guys like that um, in regards to trombonists. But um, in general, uh, you know, just some of the young lions. I attended Berkeley College of Music, and um, I happened to have been there during the era of a um, Bradford Marcellus, Terrence Blanchard, uh, Marvin Smitty Smith, Jeff Watts, and the list goes on, Alex Bouillon, Walsh Beasley. And um, I, I've been, uh, I could say that I was expi- inspired, I should say, by all of those cats. You know, um, uh, as a jazz musician, we, we realize that you can learn and um, really grow from listening to anyone that's in the um, in the profession. Well, you guys know I'm one of your biggest fans. I love to come out and uh, hang out with you guys because you, you seem like you have so much fun when you're performing, can you, for our listeners, describe your sound, jazz funk? Jazz funk. Well, you're right. What we do is we, 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 it's kind of like a, an outlet for us, you know, you know, being educators by day. Um, but this is what we do. You know, we have fun, you know, when we play. And that's the thing about it, you know. A lot of musicians, you know, they do it because it's, it's a living. You know, for us, it's a second living. But the thing is, you know, we, we're going to do it, we're going to do it you know, do it right, and of course, we're going to have fun with it. That's the main thing is our outlet. But as far as uh, jazz funk, it's kind of like you're mixing in some of the things, uh, like Dr. Pryor was talking about, you know, Earth, Wind, and Fire, and you're mixing in a little bit of Miles Davis, a little bit of Donald Byrd, um, and you're putting all that together with some jazz crusaders and stuff like that, and and that's that's the kind of style that that we have. I think it's very unique because of our instrumentation, um, you know, with, with the three horns and the, the vocalists 
and the vocalist is a part of the group that sings, um, you know, not, not just the lead line, but also background lines with us, and, um, you know, full rhythm section. So I, I think we have a, a very unique sound, um, what we're doing. I, I, I would also add to that is, um, as a result of being educated as well, we, we feel that it is critical that we introduce this genre of music to, to the world. And so we use popular melodies and familiar melodies to introduce jazz to our audience. Um, you know, we'll take a classic like Summertime and um, throw a, a groove on the, on the bottom of it that, um, you know, that's, that happens to be a popular groove, just like uh, this is how we do it or something, and then throw Summertime on top of that. So, Therefore, we're slowly pulling our audience into the understanding of the sophistication of jazz. 